Here's a look back at his extraordinary life. Hi, everybody, and a very pleasant Friday night to you, wherever you may it's be. It's time for Dodger Baseball! She is gone! In a year that has been so improbable, the impossible has happened. No doubt, if you grew up in Los Angeles, Vin Scully's voice has been the soundtrack to your life. Vincent Edward Scully, born in the Bronx in 1927, Early on, he knew he had a love for baseball. October the 2nd, 1936, a little red-headed kid was walking home from school, and I went by a Chinese laundry, and the line score of a baseball game was pasted on the window, and it showed game two of the World Series with the Yankees beating the Giants 18 to four. As that little red-headed kid looked and saw, oh, wow, the poor Giants. That was my reaction. And so I became not only a Giants fan, but a big fan of baseball. Vin loved baseball so much, he even played on his high school team at Fordham Prep and then played center field in college. In 1950, he joined the Brooklyn Dodgers with broadcaster Red Barber. Back then, he wasn't expected to last very long. It was a one month contract. They took me to Vero Beach. And at the end of the month, they could have fed me to the alligators. I mean, it, it was just a one-month deal. Barber left the Dodgers in 1953 over a salary dispute, and then Vin took over. The man on that one-month contract would be with the Dodgers for 67 seasons, from Brooklyn to L.A., from Ebbets Field to the L.A. Coliseum. Good afternoon, everybody. This is Ben Scully speaking to you from the Los Angeles Coliseum as opening day has finally come to Southern California. Finally, at Dodger Stadium. She is gone! And in between some of the most magical moments in baseball history, a World Series win for the Dodgers in 1955, a perfect game from Sandy Koufax. Sandy into his windup. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed a perfect game. A record-shattering moment when Hank Aaron passed Babe Ruth for the all-time home run record in 1974. Fastball is a high. moment for Atlanta and the state of Georgia. What a marvelous moment for the country and the world. A black man is getting a standing ovation in the deep south for breaking a record of an all-time baseball idol. Vin was doing the World Series in 1986 when the Boston Red Sox saw one slip away. Little roller up along first, behind the bat! And maybe the most memorable home run in World Series history, Kirk Gibson in Game 1 of the 1988 World Series. High fly ball into right field. She is gone! Along with the great moments, Vin could even make a boring game entertaining. Johnny Gomes. Let's start when he was 12. He was doing work on his grandmother's house, and a hired hand showed up with a wolf on a leash. So he walked up to the wolf, and the man hollered at him, no, it's a real wolf. Don't pet it. The 2-1 pitch in, yeah, well, the man ties up the wolf, goes around the corner to mend the fence, and Johnny goes back to the wolf, saying something like, oh, I'll talk to him, and it'll be great. And the wolf attacks him. And the base hit by Johnny Gomes. So a one-out single left by the Wolfman. And he picked up a helpful skill in later years. Did you know Vin was a lip reader? That's fertilizer, says Kemp, over and over. That is fertilizer. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. What? What you do to me? What you do to me? So one saying what you do to me and the other saying don't look at me. The Dodgers are a winning organization and KTTV is very much a part of that winning tradition. The Dodgers were on Fox 11 KTTV for a few years. Then even made this promo reel for us back in the 80s. Dodgers and KTTV. But it was those legendary calls we all remember. 
and Vin may have saved his best for last. In his last season, his last game at Dodger Stadium, Charlie Culberson gave Vin's career a storybook ending. 0-1 to Charlie. Swung on a high fly ball to deep left field to Dodger Ben Jenkins. Did you believe a home run? And the Dodgers have clinched the division and will celebrate on schedule. But it wasn't over. Vin had a curtain call prepared just for the fans. I wanted to try and express my appreciation to all the players, God bless them, and to all you folks here in the ballpark. It's a very, very modest thing. I sang this for my wife. It was a loving gesture. You know the song, The Wind Beneath My Wings. Did you ever know? A week later, Vin signed off from San Francisco, 80 years to the day he fell in love with baseball. To share in your passion and love for this great game. My family means everything to me, and I'll now be able to share life's experiences with them. Family, including wife Sandy. Vin always joked when asked if he'd return for another season that it was Sandy who'd need to give her blessing. And boy, was he blessed. Honors? Vin racked them up during his career, Baseball Hall of Fame, star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, Presidential Medal of Freedom, his own street, Vin Scully Way, leading right into Dodger Stadium. The Dodgers even renamed their press box the Vin Scully Press Box. We would see Vin again. The Dodgers inducted him into the Ring of Honor. Let's add Vin to the Ring of Honor. And then at the 2017 World Series, he was to throw out the first pitch and in typical Scully fashion, provided some great theater. I can't do it. I apologize. I'm really sorry. But like all the managers in this game, I'm going to have to go to the bullpen. I need, I need a left-hander to come out here and help me. Is there a left-hander down here? Oh, my gosh! Fernando Valenzuela! Vin gave himself the final word when he signed off from his final broadcast with the Dodgers in San Francisco. May God give you for every storm a rainbow, for every tear a smile, for every care a promise, and a blessing in each trial. For every problem, life seems a faithful friend to share. For every sigh, a sweet song and an answer for each prayer. You and I have been friends for a long time, but I know in my heart that I've always needed you more than you've ever needed me. And I'll miss our time together more than I can say. But you know what? There will be a new day and eventually a new year. And when the upcoming winter gives way to spring, oh, rest assured, once again, it will be time for Dodger baseball. So this is Vin Scully wishing you a very pleasant good afternoon wherever you may be. You are the wind beneath my wing. Oh, so emotional. Vin Scully gone at 94. According to the AP, they talked to the team, which said they talked to family members, and they say Vin Scully passed away at his home in Hidden Hills. He will be remembered forever in this city. And I know he's been having a hard time since he lost his wife, yes, Sandy, a few yes. years ago and had sort of hinted at the fact that he was ready. Yeah. Um, and and what, a, what an incredible life well lived. He talks about it's time for Dodger baseball and it'll be time again for Dodger baseball, uh, you know, tomorrow. But it, Dodger baseball will never be the same. I mean, the Dodgers are in great hands right now with Joe Davis, who's such a fantastic successor and a young guy just like Vin was when he started as a young person. And he's paid so much tribute to Vin tonight and, and over the years. But um, what made Vin really extraordinary in, in the booth for those all those years, 67 years, he did the game solo. He didn't have a partner. Now, almost every broadcaster now is a partner. He's telling all those stories, like that story that we heard in there, uh, off the top of his head for hours at a time, 
on his own. And we should note that he's the longest tenured broadcaster with a single team in pro sports history. Well, there actually is one longer now. Okay. Jaime Harim. We love Jaime as well. Yeah, yeah saw course, him recently the, 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 at the, the All-Star Game. Speaking, and yes, the two of them. Yes. We've been so blessed in LA. Jaime Harim, mm -hmm. Vince Scully, Chick Hearn, Bob Miller, mm -hmm. some of the greatest broadcasters ever. Ralph Lawler, such a great broadcaster that we've had over the years here in so Los Angeles. We're gonna take been a the deep, best of them all. Yeah, a deeper look here on Fox 11 News at 10 o'clock. We hope you'll join us in less than an hour and we'll have um, a lot more stories to tell. R.I.P. The greatest of all time, Vince Scully.